she said, Mommy, I don't want to go to school today. So I said, you have to go. On this the day after, students young and younger, many who saw things children should never see, were turning to school in Lower Manhattan, where the unspeakable has happened. Innocence lost. How are you feeling this morning? Like, kind of nervous. <laughs> kind of nervous? Yeah, because, like, if it happens again. Parents clinging tightly to their kids at drop-off here at PS89 and IS289. The staff have the idea, please? Police officers posted at the entrance of Stuyvesant High School and all over the area for security. There are grief counselors inside the schools at the ready. New York City Schools Chancellor Carmen Farina. Right now, I think it's about getting back to normal, treating anyone who needs to talk to, be talked. But for mothers, fathers, and their children, life as they knew it has changed. Going to school will never be the same. Of course, we're like in mourning right now because of all the dead bodies and casualties. 12-year-old Audrey Lee says she was on lockdown at IS-289 as the madness unfolded. What was lockdown like yesterday, Audrey? Um, it was scary, and a lot of kids were crying, and my friend was too. She tells me another friend of hers was too close to the danger. He was face-to-face -face with the attacker. He was like 10 feet away from him, and like a lot of other people in my school like could have gotten hurt or like gotten or died. All of this creating a terrible dilemma for parents like Jeanette Kastenberg, who has two young boys at PS89. What are you telling your children? The truth. What is that? That there are some bad people and that we have to uh, continue on with our lives. Back live now at Stuyvesant High School, students must remain in the building today during free periods and lunch. This for safety purposes. We are live in Lower Manhattan this afternoon. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News.